Today in Icelanders, we are going to be building a massive farm that will give us gunpowder, iron, sugarcane, bamboo, cactus, bones, arrows, and much, much more. The reason why is because last episode, me and Tim B. Pirate set sail on an epic quest. And, well, this is what happened. Ha! Huh, no wind for three days. And it's really starting to get hot up here. Oh. Arr, Mr. Nice, I have a job for ye now that we be stranded at sea. Um, o okay, Mr. Pirate Captain, sir. Um, what do you need? Well, you see them fancy wings of yours? I need ye to go and get a full shulker box of TNT for me. Oh, TNT? Well, I mean, that sounds completely safe. Uh, but I won't let you down. Thanks for this job, Mr. Pirate. I'll, I'll go get the TNT. Uh, don't forget to take care and be nice. What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft Let's Play world uh, and today's gonna be kind of a little bit of a different episode uh, what I'm going to be do I almost fell off the edge <laughs> that was close <laughs> uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to actually get started on a farming district this time uh, I haven't built any farms well actually that's not true look up here <laughs> I actually did build uh, this uh, if you can actually call it a farm actually kind of embarrassing uh but yeah we're gonna go out to sea somewhere and we're gonna find a place that we can do this and i think i've already located a spot okay so just out here in the water somewhere i have a glass block right there there it is uh i think this is gonna do us um it's far enough away of course i can't land on that <laughs> uh it's far enough away from the land that we're not gonna get any spawns over there there's some there's some islands over there um, but we're not gonna get any spawns. What we're gonna do is make a big glass floor on the uh, on the on the sea here <laughs> And then we're gonna build a giant mob farm Which is gonna have like a whole bunch of other little farms attached to it, which is gonna be really really fun uh, So while I'm collecting all the material and stuff I need for this farm I just want to say thank you very very much uh, For last episode see I started these Minecraft animations. I'm not very good at it, but I uh, you know, I am trying. I kind of like it. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you because a lot of you seem to like it. And if you did like the one in this episode at the beginning, uh, please do hit that like button and comment and let me know that you liked it. That that really means a lot to me. So yeah, Tim B. Pirate wants me to get him a whole shulker box of TNT. And I, I can only imagine that it's probably for him to defeat the evil empire uh, and take out his weapons uh, that, you know, we saw a couple episodes ago. Uh, so that's the reason why we're making this farm to begin with, uh, mainly for gunpowder. We'll have to go find some sand, um, but there's going to be a whole bunch of different kinds of farms uh, within this one mob farm. It's it's really actually going to be pretty cool, but I think first what we need to do is find a place to put my inner chest. <laughs> and then we need to uh, get out our glass, and we're going to make a giant glass floor. So one thing that I really like to do after I make an episode and I publish it is reading all of your comments and last episode there were so many amazing comments uh so many people that were supportive of all my animations and uh just different things that i did in the uh in the episode uh but one in particular stood out and this one is from whipstash who's actually a patron member of mine but he said r i love this episode really cool storyline that is developing and wonderful animations. I really laughed at the Tim B. Nice, Tim B. Pirate discussion. Also, big respect for the grind. I know how much it takes to dig out those mountains and condense them into a tiny, but very satisfying time lapse. Keep up the good work. And you're 100% correct. Not only does it take so long to, you know, mine stuff out like that, but just to record the time lapse and then put it into a video and with music, and it, it really takes a long time. Okay, so we have our floor now, uh, so the next part that we need to do is build up the mob farm. And uh, it, what we're going to do is we're going to have all the mobs fall onto a collection area on top of a bunch of hoppers, probably probably over in this corner. And then we're going to have a collection system and item sorting system for all of the mobs and all of their drops and all the other farms that we're going to be adding up here. And luckily for me, I've already got everything we need uh, to go ahead and start this farm. A lot of stone, by the way. A lot of stone. <laughs> and I have... Oh no. I need hoppers. 
Now, the bad thing is, is I used up most of my iron I had for all of those anvils down there on that ship. Um, so I hope I have iron. And, oh yeah, okay. I think we have enough then. <laughs> so that's another thing that I'm going to be adding into this mob farm. So, it, I really shouldn't even be calling it a mob farm. I should just be calling it a farm because, like, an all-purpose farm. Uh, because what we're going to do is we're going to be adding an iron farm inside the mob farm. It's, it's going to be weird. Okay, so I managed to get 60 hoppers and completely 100% deleted my iron supply. <laughs> so we really need to get this farm going. Uh, so what I think we need to do first is I'm going to put down an item sorter. That way I can know my height for the, for the killing chamber for all the mobs. Okay, so we have our item sorter set up. And it's pretty easy. This is Impulse SV's design. Uh, so basically, we have this hopper right here. It's locked, right? And we have it uh, set to collect stone. Obviously, I'm going to change that to something else <laughs> later on. Uh, but whenever there are items flowing through these hoppers, uh, if this uh, hopper detects above here that there is some, let's say, stone, it's going to drain all these items uh, coming through there into our chests. Uh, so that way we don't get a whole bunch of random junk in the same chest and keep it all nice and tidy. And if you're wondering, yes, this does work on Bedrock. And actually, I'm probably going to end up changing those two hoppers up there for water streams. They're a whole lot more efficient, and then they'll, you know, cause as much lag. Okay, so we got all of our hoppers in place, and all of these hoppers are leading right over here into this one. And the reason why is because they're going to be put into this dropper. Uh, whenever there's anything in here, it's going to detect that, and we're going to have it set up to where... Anytime there's any item whatsoever inside of here, it'll get shot out into a water stream, which will deliver all of our items to our item filters. Okay, now we have our uh, system that will shoot out all of our items here once they go into the hoppers. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. We'll use my coffee, uh, because coffee is so good for all kinds of things. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so each time there's items in there, it's going to do this and shoot them all out into our water stream. It's the best day of my life! It's raining coffee! Okay, so now what I'm doing is adding a, a wall all the way around this thing, so that way the iron golems, when they fall, yes, there's going to be iron golems, along with all the mobs and everything else, uh, but we're going to add a wall all the way around here, so that way they can't actually get out, and uh, they'll, they'll stay on those. I know, I know, I'm such a jerk. But you know, one has to ask yourself, do iron golems even have feelings? Do they even feel pain? No one will ever know. Okay, now that we have that part done, we're... Wow, that looks so weird looking through the glass like that. <laughs> uh, but now that we have that part done, what we're going to do is build up the rest of the farm. The, the main platforms where all the mobs are going to spawn, where our villagers are going to be, and uh, all that good stuff. So, I'm thinking of... We're going to do this in a time lapse. Are you ready? Because I think we're going to do it right now. Okay, so that was pretty fun. Uh, so I think now step two is we're going to get some villagers in here. So that way we can turn this mob farm into an iron farm. So somewhere around here I've buried two villagers alive. Yes, I, I buried them alive. Aha, this must be where they are. Excuse me, villagers, are you still here? You are here. Okay, great. Nice. Alright, so now the big trick would be getting you out of here. And all the way back over there to... Where you belong, your new home. Okay, F3B, let's see here. Smack that. Okay, please do not die, villager. Whee! Oh, finally, water. I am so sorry I put that torch through your eyeball.
All right, I'll try not to put this one in your eyeball like your friend. Okay, so what the plan is, is we're going to breed these guys up until we have six of them. And then we're going to let them go to bed, and then we'll block them in there. And so, whenever we turn the mob farm on, they're going to be standing right here. And whenever a zombie falls down from the mob farm, uh, they'll get scared and produce an iron golem. Hello, little guy. Alright, while we wait for these guys to breed up and so we can get some more villagers, we are going to make a sugarcane farm over here on this side. And we're going to have to bring it out about uh, 10 blocks, I, su I guess, because uh, we need light for it to operate. Do not come up here. No, 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 no. You stay. No villagers allowed. Okay, nice. Now we have our bamboo farm. No, it's not a sugarcane farm. Like I said, it's bamboo. But we're going to put the sugarcane farm over right here on this side. <laughs> and, and check it out. Our villagers are all grown up now and I blocked them in. Uh, so our iron farm will be ready as soon as our mob farm is turned on. Okay, so I didn't want to bore you with another time lapse, but I went ahead and I put in the sugarcane farm. And this is a pretty neat design. This is by Tango Tech. And any of the farms that I use today, they're all going to have a link in the description so you guys can go check them out for yourselves. But yeah, this is going to be plenty of sugarcane for us. Oh, you know what? I forgot to add some bars here. Let me put those in. All right, there we go. So uh, the reason why we need those bars there is each time these pistons break the sugarcane, it hits those and then falls down in the water instead of going over here and landing on that block. So a uh, really neat design by Tango Tech. Uh, but now what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and I'm going to put water buckets in each one of these dispensers and we're going to turn this farm on. All right, so all the dispensers have buckets in them now. Now we're going to fly up here and we're going to flick this lever and we're going to turn this on. Now, I don't think it's going to do super, super well. And the reason why is I haven't lit up any of the caves yet underneath. Uh, so I'll probably do that on a live stream coming up soon. Okay, here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, here they come. They're already coming. Oh my goodness, I saw torches fall down. Oh gosh. Okay, it's shooting stuff out all over the place now. Oh sweet. Okay, let's get a closer look. Um, something's wrong. Something is definitely wrong. Something's very wrong. Okay, so the water is not being retracted into the dispensers. That's interesting. What did I do wrong? Okay, yeah, that's what it, this it was this comparator right here. I gotta select it to subtract like that. There we go. Okay, so it should be working now. Let's go check. Oh my goodness, check it out. Oh, and there's a witch. I hope they don't kill my villagers. That would actually be very bad. Oh, this is so exciting. Oh, here they come. Oh, baby, look at that. Oh, and they're shooting out stuff all over the place. So oh, fantastic. Now what I really... Oh, and there's an iron golem. Yes, it worked. It worked. <laughs> oh, this is so great. So we got a mob farm. We got a bamboo farm. We have a sugarcane farm. A gunpowder farm. We have an iron golem farm. This is amazing. Okay, so we have good news and we have bad news. The good news is this thing's working. Whoa, it's working really good. Uh, I have, oh, and there's a golem. Check that out. Uh, so the bad news is I forgot to put my cactus farm in here. Yeah, so now I'm going to have to do it with all the mobs everywhere. Yay. I think I'm going to go ahead and just turn it off, though. Okay, so that's done. Um, the only problem I'm wondering is if maybe an iron golem spawns and then hits his head on there, but I think that this is, I think this is three, yeah, that's three blocks tall. So any iron golems that spawn here, they shouldn't get caught on those fence posts. All right, let's go ahead and turn this thing back on and we'll go down below and see what problems we have to fix. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many mobs there. Oh, that's so beautiful though. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is insane. And there's a golem. Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. There's another golem. Oh, that's not beautiful. That's not. That's not good. Okay, all fixed. It was just a slab up there letting the water through. 
All right, so let's head down and... Oh, no. I have problems. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's not good. Stay away from me. Excuse me, Mr. Gollum, but it looks like you could use a little hand to get inside. There you go. So, do they have feelings? We may never know. Don't look at me like that. Do not... Just turn around. Stop looking at me! I didn't do this to you. Just... Please stop looking at me while you're dying. It's making me feel very uncomfortable. And I have somewhat of a mess I need to clean up. Okay, so we do have one bit of a problem. And that is the cactus... The sugarcane and the bamboo, they're not falling into these hoppers. They're like shooting out the side and then they're landing like way over here. See this sugarcane right here? So what I think we have to do is we need to raise this glass around these campfires. And it needs to go all the way up to the bottom of the mob farm right here. All right, so that's done. Now all we're gonna do now is take these, hang on a second, I'm gonna put that there so I'm not bobbing up and down. I'm gonna put these hoppers right here on top of there. And now I believe that if anything gets shot out, yes, yeah, should, yes, okay, it'll go inside of that hopper now. And then all of our stuff should go in this chest. Where are they? Hmm. Oh, I know why. <laughs> it's this. Uh, we're gonna have to turn that off for now. For now, we're gonna turn that off. There, everything should be draining. Yes. Oh man, this is looking so beautiful. Oh, that's so good. Alright, so now all we have left to do is AFK for a bit, get some gunpowder, and then we need to go get our sand for our whole shulker box of TNT for Tim B. Pirate. Um, we have a problem. We have a very big problem. Uh, not to mention, half of the villagers are gone. And the creepers blew up the stone under the water? Okay, but even though it did break, we still got a lot of stuff. Check that. We even got a disc. That's cool. But check out all the iron. We got a couple of stacks there. We got a little bit here. A lot of gunpowder. So that's pretty cool. And after many, many hours, I finally got it put back together. Oh my goodness, this was such a mess. Everything was blown up. Everything was just ruined. Oh, uh, hi, villagers. <laughs> I've got the villagers back, by the way. Um, let's see, I need to go... Can I... Can I... Wow. That was weird. Anyway, I went ahead and replaced the floor here. I don't know if you can see it, but I replaced it with Deep Slate because it has a higher blast resistance. So hopefully that if those creepers do blow up again... Hello, I'm gonna watch this, make sure nothing happens here. Okay, alright, well it didn't blow up, so that's a good sign. <laughs> okay, so let's go down and see how much damage we have, shall we? And... do we have any... oh, we do! We do! It's broke again! How do you people keep breaking this? I don't understand! How is this happening? Okay, so after looking at my replay mod footage, I finally found out that when the skeletons are shooting at the iron golems and they hit a creeper, the creeper decides to blow up and uh, kill everything around it, and so yeah, that's, that's what happened. Okay, so in order to fix it, I went ahead and just added a whole bunch of obsidian down here. Uh, so the creepers are definitely not going to blow this up. Oh gosh, I fell inside. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where am I? And you might notice that I went ahead and took out my cactus. And uh, I think what I'm going to do instead, because the creepers kept getting like punched up in the sky uh, by the golems, and then they kept blowing up my cactus farm. So what I'm going to do, instead of putting it here, uh, I am going to make another platform, probably like right in this area behind this glass. Yeah, so something like this. I'll have a bunch of water streams here with my cactus on top of it. And then once the cactus grows and breaks, it'll go into the water stream, and then we'll have it go right into here and then down there into our hoppers to collect it down below okay yeah that will work perfectly now i've been afk for a little bit and no creepers have blown anything up which is fantastic the only thing i'm worried about is eventually these poor villagers are probably gonna die again <laughs> um so i don't know we'll we'll fix that problem when we get to it okay so we're gonna go grab a whole bunch of sand for what in the world what is he? How did a fox get way out here? What in the world? Is he trying? Is he fishing? Wait a minute. 
Did they actually try to kill fish? He did! He just killed a fish! I did not know that foxes did that in Minecraft. <laughs> That's really cool. But anyway, like I was saying, let's go get a whole bunch of sand for Mr. Timby Pirate's TNT. Okay, so we got a whole shulker box of TNT now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab all of this gunpowder out, and hopefully this will be enough to make a whole shulker box of TNT. Alright, so finally, after a few more hours of AFKing, I finally have a whole shulker box of TNT. So, let's go ahead and take this over to Tim B. Pirate. Wait, wait a minute. Do you hear that? I hear, I hear a ship. Oh, it's, it's Tim B. Pirate. He's here. He found me. Ahoy! <laughs> Ahoy, Mr. Pirate, sir! Oh, this is so great that he found his way all the way here. Now I don't have to fly all the way back. This is wonderful. Excuse me, uh, Mr. Pirate, I got your TNT. Uh, hi there, Mr. Uh, nice pirate guy. Uh, look what I got. I wonderful work, lad. Now tell me, do you have me booty? Your what? Me gold, laddie. I, I, I don't have any gold, Mr. Pirate Captain, sir. Aye, laddie. Well, that be your new assignment, then. Bring me back a whole shulker box of gold blocks. But Mr. Pirate, Captain, Sir, where are we gonna find all this gold? He's not really having a very good day. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. You know, pirates are normally crabby when they don't have their gold. So I guess... I guess that's what we're gonna be doing next episode, is getting a whole bunch of gold for Tim B. Pirate. But before we end the episode, we do have to add another face on top of Nicelander Bluffs. Uh, just like we did last episode. So, let's go ahead and... Ooh, ah. So yeah, let's go ahead and add another face. Okay, I think I'm getting just a little bit better with this, but I guess I'll let you be the judge. Oh, wow, look at this guy. If you know who this is, let me know in the comments. <laughs> Guys, I have had an absolute blast today with all the things we did. The big, enormous farm that we made all the animations and the storyline. I'm just, I'm loving every bit of this, and I hope you guys are too. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, consider doing that before you leave. I will see you guys later. Don't forget to take care and be nice.